Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, science minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Pam, your science job. Have your pen, paper, and mojo ready for we will learn to differentiate solute from solvent here in our Science 6 class. In our previous episode, you have learned what is solvent and solute. And you also learned soluble and insoluble, right? As a review, what is solvent and solute? A solvent is a substance that does the dissolving, or it is a substance used to dissolve a solute. While a solute is the substance that is being dissolved. Using the illustrations, identify and encircle which of the following substances can be dissolved in water. Can we dissolve sugar in water? Great, we can. How about a glass of milk? No. We cannot dissolve it because it's already dissolved. Can water dissolve in nail polish? No, correct. Can paint be dissolved in water? It cannot. Very good. Last illustration. Can water dissolve salt? Yes, it can. Amazing! You really understood our previous episode. Are you ready to learn something today? Me too! I'm eager to teach you new learning. So, just relax and take a deep breath. Again, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Great! Now, let's dive into what's new. In the given situation, Identify what factors affect the solubility of the following materials. Choose your answer inside the box and write your answer on your paper. Number 1. It tells you whether the solvent is in liquid, solid, or in gas form. The correct answer is nature of solvent. Number 2. It depends on how fast or slow the mixture is steered. The correct answer is manner of steering number three it tells you whether the solute is soft or hard powder or a whole piece the correct answer is nature of solute number four it tells you how hot or cold the solvent mixed in a mixture the correct answer is temperature and number five it tells you how much solvent is mixed in a mixture the correct answer is Amount of solvent. Excellent science minded learners! At the end of this episode, you will learn how to identify factors affecting solubility. Solubility is the maximum amount of a solute substance that will dissolve in a given amount of solvent at a specific temperature. There are different factors that affect solubility nature of solute and solvent, temperature of solvent, manner of steering, amount of solvent, and size of the solute. The effect of nature of solute and solvent on solubility. The solubility of a solute in a solvent depends on the nature of both the solute and solvent. Example, salt, a solute dissolves in water, a solvent. Nail polish dissolves in acetone. We cannot dissolve nail polish in water, but water can dissolve salt. The effect of the temperature of a solvent on solubility. Temperature affects the solubility of the solution. Raising the temperature will increase the solubility of a solute in a solvent. Example, a hot water dissolves medicine faster than cold water. The effect of manner of steering on solubility. Steering affects how quickly a solute dissolves in a solvent. 
In the absence of steering, the concentration of solute will be higher close to the pieces of solute. So, more solute won't be dissolved into the solution until it is steered. The solute will dissolve faster by diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Example, a drop of food coloring diffuses throughout the water in a glass so that eventually, the entire glass will be colored. An important concept in solutions is defining how much solute is dissolved in a given amount of solvent. This is called concentration. If the solution has small amount of solute, it is described as a dilute while concentrated describes a solution that has a lot of solute in the given solvent. There is a certain maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given solvent. This maximum amount is called the solubility. Also, when you have very little solute in the solvent, the dissolving is quicker. On the other hand, when you have a lot of solute in the solvent, Dissolving is lower. Let's do activity time. Now, to prove the effect of the temperature of solvent on solubility, these are the materials. Let's put these medicine tablets in each container and wait for the time when the two medicine tablets will be dissolved to the water. Now, what did you observe on these containers? Right! The hot water dissolved the medicine tablet faster than the cold water. Hot water dissolves solute faster than cold water. So, increasing the temperature of the solvent will increase the solubility of the material. Now, Let's prove the effect of the manner of steering on solubility. In this activity, we will be needing two teaspoons of sugar, containers with water, and a timer. First, let's put one tablespoon sugar on both containers. On container A, stir it slowly, while on container B, stir it in a quick manner. Using the timer, we will check the time which cup of solution dissolves faster. Now, what have you observed on these two containers? In container A, while on container B, we can say that steering affects how quickly a solute dissolves in a solvent. We will be using 200 ml and 100 ml water and powdered chocolate. First, Let's put 3 teaspoons of powdered chocolate on these containers. Then, let's stir it for 1 minute. Right! Container with 100 ml of water looks darker than the container with 200 ml of water. So, a container with 100 ml of water is more concentrated than a container with 200 ml of water because the given amount of solvent on it is smaller than in container of 100 ml of water. If we want the solution on 100 ml of water to be diluted, we just only need to add more solvent on it. So that's our activity time! Now, have we proved the factors of solubility? Excellent! Now, let's move to what's more. Complete the following sentences by choosing the correct word inside the parentheses. Write your answers on your paper. Solubility increases or decreases as the temperature rises. The correct answer is increases. Number 2. Solubility increases or decreases as the temperature decreases. The correct answer is decreases. Number 3. 
Which substance is more soluble, sugar or flour? The correct answer is sugar. Number 4. In which solvent below does sugar dissolve the quickest? Water. 70% alcohol. Mineral. Oil. The correct answer is water. Now, let's move on to what I have learned. Oh, we have Sissy here again. How are you coping with this pandemic? Oh, I'm always at home and do my part as a good student and child. Science-minded learners, stay at home always, okay? So, Sissy, what help do you need right now? I just need your help, science-minded learners, in our activity about what I have learned in our topic, Factors Affecting Solubility. Can you help me again? Can we help Sissy again? Great! So, we have to analyze and complete the paragraph. I have learned that solubility is the blank amount of a solid substance that will dissolve in a given amount of solvent at a specific temperature. There are different factors that affect solubility. Number 1. Nature of solute and solvent. Number 2. Temperature of solvent. Number 3. Blank. Number 4. Amount of solvent. Number five, blank. Great! Manner of steering and size of solute. The blank will dissolve faster by diffusion. Correct! Solute. If dilute means a small amount of solute in a solution, what does concentrated describe? Very good! Concentrated describes a solution that has a lot of solute in a given solvent. Wow! My friend, Sissy is so happy because she's done with her activity with your help. Yay! Thank you so much, science-minded learners. Hopefully, you will not get tired of helping someone like Sissy. Science-minded learners, are you ready for our What I Can Do? questions carefully. Give the answer for the following. Do it on your paper. Number 1. What is the quickest way to dissolve milk in water? Can milk dissolve in all solvents? Explain your answer. Right! The quickest way to dissolve milk in water is when it is heated. The higher the temperature of the solvent, the more the solute will be dissolved and milk cannot be dissolved in all solvents. Number 2. How are substances dissolved? Very good! Substance dissolved when solute breaks up from larger particles into much smaller particles by a solvent. I'm so happy that you have learned something from our episode. I hope that what you've learned, you will also apply because that is what a scientist do. Now, science-minded learners, are you ready for our assessment? Great! Because I'm ready to give you an assessment. Number 1. To make a solution, you need a blank. This is the substance that gets dissolved. A. Solvent B. Solute C. Matter. D. Suspension. The correct answer is B. Solute. Number 2. Which of the following describes solubility? A. The ability of liquid to change color. B. The ability of something to dissolve in a liquid. C. The time it takes for something to settle at the bottom of a liquid. Or D. The speed of pouring a liquid out of a container. The correct answer is B. 
the ability of something to dissolve in a liquid. Number 3. A greater amount of sugar will dissolve in warm water than in cold water. What is the factor affecting the solubility? A. Temperature of solvent B. Amount of solute C. Nature of solute or D. Manner of steering The correct answer is A. Temperature of solvent Number 4 Which of the following does not affect the solubility of solid solutes? A. Volume of solvent B. Temperature C. Steering or D. Amount of mixture The correct answer is D. Amount of mixture Number 5 Solubility blank as temperature increases. A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Neutral. Or D. None of this. The correct answer is A. Increases. Science minded learners, that was amazing! To catch up with the next lesson on solutions and their characteristics, Let's stay tuned to learn more, only here on DEPET TV. Remember, our Almighty God is always with us and the virus will not stop us from learning. Once again, I am Teacher Pam, leaving a message. It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Wassalam! <laughs>